Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to implement the use case diagram using ChatGPT. So every programming we need a use case. Okay. Before we have to make the uh, system, we have a use case diagram. Okay. What are the actors associate that particular system? What are the use cases? These are all things very important when you are implement the uh, software projects. Whether it is a library management system or hospital management system or student management system, etc. We need a use case diagram for it. Okay, so how to implement it? Very simple way. Okay, so here if you are when you are when some company and or the project to you, first you would get the idea what are the actors of that particular system. All the things we have easily we have gathered from the chat GPT. That is the AI tool which is help us to implement the software very easy way. Okay, you have to get get the good solution for it. Okay, so you go to the chat GPT official website. So here you have to now the chat GPT 4 has been released. Okay, that is you can easily you can that's the free version is there. You can uh, you, uh, you can number of uh, prompt you can uh, type for free version so here you can type the prompt over here what is the system you are going to implement Let's take example I am going to implement the library management system right so first you have to put the prompt here act as a world best UML diagram creator then only the chat gpt act as what is the prompt you are given according to the point it will be uh, react okay right so here you are put as a uml diagram creator so here what are the uml diagram is there they are list out okay so the what are the uml task diagram use case diagram sequence diagram activity diagram state then all the diagram what are the diagram is available inside the use uh, uh, UML it will be list out okay so this all the diagram they are list out that now what is the system you are going to make you are tell the, tell them the chat gb to implement the what diagram you need I need to need you you are tell them I need you to generate generate a complete use case diagram okay i need you to generate a complete use case diagram for for about i'm going to library management system okay before you are selecting the language which is java or c sharp everything thing first neither you can diagram along with the or you can tell that along with the no need at the moment we just put this prompt Okay, easily can put I need to I need you to generate a complete use case diagram of the library management system. You can I just get the library management, you can put the student management system or anything else. Here, how fast it is. Here it will be easily you have to tell them these are the uh, use cases, these are the actors, these are the relationship. You can see here what are the actors are there, what are the en entity types, and uh, uh, what are the uh, use cases okay you can see here. all things it will draw okay everything is there right so use cases this all are things that they are implement the use cases you can easily see that everything it said it has been explained but the drawing the chat is not enough at the moment to draw properly at the use cases but the, you have to get the, the text this act as a text based software so it will be drawn but it's not the drawing is not professional one so here you can see here what are the actors here librarian member guest and administrator these are the actors which is a library management system right so what are the use cases this will be search books borrow books all the things are there right the actors and use cases it's very simple Right, the member as actor, guest is actor. These are the user search books, borrow books, return books, manage books. 
right so these are the use cases right to re renewable the membership once the membership is ended, uh, ended we have to remove that the pay fine what is the meaning of pay fine if you uh, borrow the books from the library you haven't and over the time on time there will be the penalty fee you have to pay the penalty fee there is a pay fines you have to pay the fines this all the things we are include that particular system so that we have to get the right so here relationship here you can see the library can perform all the action expert pay fine and renew memberships okay the relationship here like the member can search a book or borrow books return book the everything you can what are things you are include that particular system you roughly get the idea okay with, 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 with these are the relationship okay so you have to get the idea of that okay if you have learned the system these are these are the system uh, if you are go for the library management these are the actors these are the roles these are the <coughs> entities okay this now let's select the class diagram now you you don't have to write it here yeah i want to you just generate the you just put we already put this we are going to do use a use case diagram you have write it here class diagram generate the class diagram it automatically take the prompt library management business class diagram here what are the attributes and methods now you can see every there is a what are the actors are there you can see here right what are the use cases right so here class diagram it describes the attributes and methods use case diagram the actors and use cases class diagram describes about actors and method of the system what are the actors what are the entities of the system what are the entities mean if you take the look at the example of books book as a id which is attribute book as a name book as a I, ispn id ispn uh, and book author okay right those, those are the attributes what are the behavior add book delete book edit book these are the methods of the books so here it's simply it list out you can see the library as a name address books members okay these are libraries okay so right so here it has attributes add book remove book and uh, register the member and generate reports what are the books book as a attribute here title ispn number publication date available copies available books available we'll check it borrow this with members to see these are the methods we are called as method to roughly get the idea these are the things we have to include that up in our particular library management so easily you roughly get the idea it's very simple okay you have to how to implement the system you have to get roughly you have to get the idea if you go for the this these these are the diagrams class diagram you can see the attributes here library so books list of books we have a list of books member okay so what are the methods you can see the add book remove book everything so you can see okay but right, you will be able to see this also here the diagram is drawn but the diagram is not properly drawing by chat gpt it's not uh, it is not good enough to draw the diagram it's a chat a chat based ai tool okay the, the chat gpt is brilliant for generating the text not drawing so that the drawing is not good okay so you can you just be yeah, there they, they mentioned the relationship as well library contain books okay one library contain many books so one to many relationship so if you want to generate another diagram you can i need to generate the relationship so i need you to generate the relationship i like put it to gen, gender the relationship simple yeah they are relationship what are the relationship between library and books library as a library and member member and books library manage the here this all the relationship they will be they implement you will be able to see here you can see here this is the relation library contain books one library has many books so one library means one library one library that is it. many books library as a member one library has many members okay one to many relationship you can see the man one to many relationship right okay right so member borrow the books many members borrow many books many books can uh, by many members so because one many to many relationship we have to implement the many to many relationship or the library and manage library 
library and management one one is a head library is a head of the library he can manage one library okay the if it is a school there is one principal they are like, same thing one librarian can manage one library so these are three have two the things okay this everything will be it will be generated generated by chat gpt you can get the idea okay this is i just uh, roughly get the idea about the library management system if you have any uh, the task given by your school or your company you roughly get the idea before you are moving to the project software projects okay without your you don't have what are the entities what are the use case available that particular system you 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 are stuck in the middle of the system you are implement so that we are first you have to learn what are the how the entities going works everything you have to study by this diagram okay you go through that like diagram and make the system your system will be very few you will be able to get the perfect system the final output okay here everything will be explained the relationship with library contain books one library contain many books and one library and as many one library as many members here one library in management one library okay this everything it will be explained right okay so he will be able to see i hope you guys you understood the things well if you want to draw the another diagram which is sequence or activity diagram the same thing you have to generate the sequence diagram or active diagram you have just put it it will be easily chat gpt will be drawn up and you will be it is it is very simplified to make the system it makes very sim simplified to make the system uh, thank you for your to watch